Welcome to Full Stack Automation with Ruby. In the last video, we looked at Slack integration um, for our Full Stack Automation with Ruby results. Um, and in this video, I'm going to do a combination of that and as well as the API testing HTTP party um, so we can monitor uh, when we do a call on comps or conferences a get request, uh, see how long it's taking, and if it's more than, say, a second, uh, if there's a lot of conferences that maybe we insert during load testing or whatever, uh, we want to make sure that that's performing well and not taking a long time. And the way to do that is just to ping a Slack saying, hey, you know, maybe it's passing the Git shaw, like this caused some slowness um, in our testing. So to automate that, we're going to need to uh, add the Slack Notifier gem, which again, we saw in the last video, if you want to take a look at that. Uh, we need to add it to our .mvrb under Feature Support. Um, and we need to create a new uh, Slack Notifier class and store it in a global variable this time. Uh, and then we can just pass that anywhere inside our full stack automation stack and uh, ping Slack with that variable. So let's take a look at our comps feature. Uh, in the other HT party video, we, we showed you just the post, I believe. Um, so let's step through that and get a refresher on what's happening there. So if I do Cucumber Features API Comps and the fourth scenario, just that one, we should see Pry here and we're just going to take our payload, copy that, and we're going to get our endpoint, which is our domain, which looks like it's uh, localhost 3000 and the Comps endpoint. And then we're just going to hit AC party with a post uh, and pass that information in using JSON. So looks like it went through. Uh, I did add a RSpec assertion here to make sure that the response code is what we want. 201 created. Um, and I didn't, I just posted two. Sorry about that. Let's try the response. Okay, so that's true. That's good. We know this is working well. We're creating uh, comps just fine. So... Let's exit out of that. Now let's take a look at the new get comp scenario. Um, I will do the same thing and add pry here. We'll step through that. I believe it's the seventh scenario. All right. So uh, I know our endpoint in the Rails app is comps get is going to return every conference in our database so we can paste that endpoint in we'll use that later um, I have a API start time which is just grabbing time dot now um, for us to difference after the call is made with an end time and see how long it takes so there's our get um, for all the comps that we have in the database right now looks like a few so we can capture the end time because that should pass and we have 17 total seconds. Okay, so let's just make sure that we check for 200 on the get. That allows us to move forward. And then we can post results to Slack. So um, I'm simply just putting out the total time again here, uh, 17 seconds. Let's put a little space there. And I have this if clause at the end. Um, but it's basically just going to notify ping. Let's try this part. Um, well, we could do the whole thing because it is greater than one. We should see it slack our ping channel or our slack channel here. And I changed the slack notification noise. It's a little nicer. Sure. We see 17, uh, 588 seconds to total response time. Looks like I misspelled it uh, here. So that's working, cool. Um, I'm gonna change this to plus then so we can see it go every time we run the test. Uh, so we know that it's working correctly, kind of the inverse of whether it's greater than. Um, but let's first clean up our comps that we've already created. Uh, so we have a few here 
and we could do a simple delete specific conf, um, but I typically like to just not only verify that it's working the deletes, but it's cleaning up our database as well at the same time. So delete conf, um, we're going to need our endpoint. So let's get this started with number 10. And we're going to have to make a delete call, rest call on the cops endpoint again, localhost 3000. And, oh, I'm sorry, we're actually getting all the existing cops here again. So, yeah, we have an array of cops that we can now uh, loop through and only delete if it's not uh, one of these standard comps in our database. We want to keep these around for other tests, uh, UI tests, things like that. So um, unless comp title is RubyConf here or RailsConf 2021, delete it basically. So I'm just putting out the ID that comes back from our get in the array and the title. Um, so our endpoint is going to be um, comps and the ID that we return uh, that is a deletable comp. So then we just take that endpoint and call delete on it here, and it should come back with 204. So uh, let's let this go through and see it do its magic. Uh, so yeah, these are the Selenium comps that got picked up with our IDs. Now when we refresh, those are gone. So looks like everything's working. And let's run the whole suite again of API tests. We've got our less than one second. So we've got our no conferences because we did the delete at the end and we got our Slack message. So everything's good. Uh, let's try it with greater than one second. We should not get a Slack message here and everything's good. We don't need to be not uh, notified about it. So thanks for watching.